So I just walked in from work and I thought it would be kind of fun to do this a little bit vlog style. So apologies if it's a little bit shaky. Decided to film these on my phone. My house is a wreck right now. Is anyone else's house always really messy during the week just from the swirl of the work week? And then I usually clean on the weekend, but during the week it gets a little bit crazy. So it's about 6.20, 6.30, I just walked in. I have about a 30 minute commute from work, so it's not too bad. Usually I will come in and I usually try to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner. I either will start dinner or I'll go down and work out in the basement, which I think is what I'm gonna do first. Nathan is not home yet. He's gonna get home a little bit late today. So I'm probably going to try to squeeze in a workout before actually starting dinner. If you're curious what I usually make for dinner, I have a Pinterest board. It says dinner recipes, I think, and I'm usually pulling stuff from there. I usually save my weekly recipes on there. And I use that when I like meal plan of what I'm gonna make for the week. So I'm gonna pick something off of there. I might do an enchilada casserole because that's super quick and easy. Like I need some good quick recipes <laughs> for work nights because I don't have much time. As I said, it's already like 6.30 need to go get in a 30 minute workout and then start dinner. So we usually don't eat till like eight or so. So I'm gonna go get changed and start my workout. The dogs are going crazy. Um, they're always wild when I first get home because Chloe's been in the crate, our puppy, and so they're wound up. So I usually take them down in the basement with me to play while I work out because they need to get their energy out. <laughs> you hungry? You ready to eat your food? You ready to eat your food, Chloe? Oh, oh I take that as a yes. Oh. The lighting in my room is a lot better. I wanted to quickly chat about my hair. I've been testing out the Weedad Advanced Climate Control, the stronger hold version that y'all actually recommended. And it's been raining all day today. And I think it held up pretty well. As you can see, I got a little bit frizzy right here and I'm pretty frizzy underneath, but overall not too terribly bad. It's a little bit flat on top, which is normal for when it's raining. My hair usually falls pretty flat. So not too bad, I guess, but I'll definitely let you know more about that soon. I'll link the product down below for you. So I just got changed into my workout clothes. Gonna throw my hair up in a satin scrunchie. These I love so much. They're from My K Silk. Depending on if I really want to preserve my style, like if I had just styled and washed my hair yesterday or something, sometimes I'll work out with my satin bonnet on, which sounds really crazy, but I'm working out at home, so it doesn't really bother me. But I plan on probably washing my hair tomorrow because tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'll probably just throw it up. I don't really care if it gets creased because I'm probably gonna wash it tomorrow. But if I didn't want it to crease, then I would recommend trying to work out in a satin bonnet. It really helps, or you could do like a silk scarf if you are going to the gym, that might look a little bit better. Little sneak peek at the gallery wall that we just finished in our basement. If you follow me on Instagram, I kind of shared a sneak peek on how we actually did this and how we laid it out first and how we did a lot of the designs ourselves, like that little family basket we put together ourselves. So you can check out my Instagram highlights to see that. I still need to fill it with pictures, obviously. These are all stock photos in there. I need to get pictures printed, but I think it turned out super cute and I might do an updated house tour video soon. So let me know if you're interested in that. Finally done with my workout. I get to finally go up and start cooking. I'm starving, so I can't wait to eat. I definitely worked up an appetite. So tonight I'm doing enchilada casserole, which is super easy. I'll put the recipe down below, but it's like a healthy modified version. So while that's in the oven baking, I think it has to bake for like 30 minutes. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. I try not to work too much in the evenings for my regular job, but a lot of times there's still stuff that has to get done. Um, but I just turn on the TV. I don't watch a lot of TV. I only really watch like The Bachelor and I see this new show, Love Island. Have you guys seen it yet? Do you recommend it? Do you like it? If you like The Bachelor, is that something that is similar? Let me know because I've never seen it before. These workouts think they get a treat every time they come in and do what they're supposed to. Easy. Sit, Chloe. Sit. Holly. We need to work on stealing Sissy's treats. That's not nice. Look at her little bark box um, toy that came in her bark box. If you guys aren't following Holly Lou the Beagle on Instagram, you gotta check it out if you're into dog stuff because we share a monthly bark box. Don't we, Chloe? Yeah, we do an unboxing every month and lots of fun, silly videos of them all the time, so. <laughs> Yum, this looks so good. I'm gonna Just took my favorite vitamins. These are from Hair 369. These work amazing. I've done a video on them. I will 
put the link down below, but I take two of these every night after dinner. Just finished eating and now I'm ready to go put on my PJs and the worst part of the evening is cleaning up this dirty kitchen. I hate doing dishes with a passion. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is remove my makeup. I'm using my favorite simple micellar makeup remover wipes. These are the best, the only ones that actually remove eye makeup really well. Now I'm going to cleanse my face using my Michael Todd Sauna Clear Cleansing Brush and then also this e.l.f. cleanser. I will link all these products on the blog post that goes with this video. I have used this brush for so long. It's one of the only antimicrobial face brushes so it doesn't grow bacteria and I just love it. I will definitely leave the link for you guys on the blog. And I'm actually gonna be taking a shower tonight so I am gonna put my hair up in this shower cap. This is lined with satin. This is in my Amazon store. I love it so much and I'm gonna hop in the shower. Normally I shower in the morning, but if I work out, I like to do it at night. Once I get out of the shower, I like to use my favorite lotions, which are from Cetaphil. I just use the daily moisturizing lotion all over, and then sometimes I'll use the moisturizing cream on really dry areas. Now it's finally time to brush my teeth. I've actually done a video review on this toothbrush. This is from Sonicare. It's like a Bluetooth one. It works really well, I've been using it for years, ever since I did that video, so I'll link for you down below. So now for skincare, I'm using the Pixie. This is the vitamin C toner. I love Pixie skincare. It's really become one of my favorite drugstore brands. So I'm just using that toner, and then I'm going in with an eye cream from Tarte. This is the Maracuja eye cream. Love this stuff so much, I could never skip eye cream. Now I'm using this Pixi Glow Serum, and this um, glow line is supposed to help with discoloration on your face, with dark spots, acne scarring, which is mostly what I have. It just really helps keep your skin very even. It has, I think, glycolic acid in it, which helps to gently exfoliate without actually manually exfoliating. Now for my night cream, I'm using the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This face cream is hands down one of the best that I've ever used. This is my second jar of it. It just feels so good on the skin. It's supposed to help with dullness, uneven texture, dryness, fine lines, and wrinkles, and it definitely does that. My skin feels so good after using this. I don't know what they put in this stuff that makes it feel so good. It says that it has antioxidants in it and peach leaf extract which is supposed to help de-stress overnight and make you feel refreshed. My skin just looks so moisturized and plump after using it. It's really amazing. I highly recommend it. Then can't forget the lips. I'm using the Aquaphor Advanced Lip Repair. This is my favorite lip balm that I always slather on at night before bed. I usually sleep in a satin bonnet so I will be putting my hair up in that before I go to bed. And now I'm all done with my skincare. I have been loving the results of my skincare routine recently. My skin has never been clear and I've been going without foundation now as you might have seen my recent makeup tutorial without using foundation. And that is definitely due to the products that I've been using recently. They have definitely been my favorites. kitchen is all clean, dishwasher is running. I literally cannot go to bed with a dirty kitchen or dirty dishes. I don't care how late it is, it might even be midnight and I'll stay up and do the dishes because it's just a pet peeve of mine. So, so nice having the kitchen all cleaned up and ready to go for bed. I think I'm gonna wrap this up now. It's almost 10.30, so it's definitely time for bed. I'm gonna take this little nugget out to potty one more time before she goes in her crate. She's so tired. Puppies are just the best when they're snuggly like this. So I'm gonna take her out and then head to bed and hopefully I'm asleep by 11. <laughs> So let me know if you wanna see more of these vlog style evening routines. It was definitely really fun to film. Maybe I'll do a morning routine next. Let me know what you wanna see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos and I hope to see you back next week. Bye everyone. Good night everybody.